Nobody asked me last week is a note more than just a frequency. But I'm going to explain it to you anyway. If you really look at it, sound is some object vibrating. A guitar string, your vocal cord, the cones of the speaker. Sound is caused by some object vibrating. Now imagine a string that's held at two endpoints. If you go ahead and pluck the string, it vibrates at a maximum intensity at one particular frequency, and that's called its fundamental frequency. But also interestingly, with the exact same plucking, the string is also moving at twice that fundamental frequency and three times that fundamental frequency and so on, but with lesser intensities. So in short, any object that's vibrating is not only vibrating at a fundamental frequency, but also multiples of that frequency frequency and it's the combination of all these frequencies that you hear as sound when something vibrates. Now these additional frequencies which are integer multiples of the fundamental frequency are called overtones and it's these overtones that really give an instrument or a person's voice its unique flavor when they all produce the same fundamental note frequency. In western music a frequency of 110 hertz which is 110 vibrations per second is given the name for example when this note is played on a guitar what identifies it as the note A is the fundamental frequency of the vibration of that string, which is at 110 hertz. But like I said earlier, it also vibrates at multiples of that frequency. It's the combination of all these frequencies that help you identify that note as coming from a guitar. Now on a piano, when you play the same note, the combination of overtones will be in a slightly different way, giving a piano its unique sound. So I'm gonna leave you with just a pure sine wave, which is just the fundamental frequency with no overtones. Check it out. Are you wondering when we are going to get to the fun part of playing around with all these notes and making something musical? 